This video is meant for those with intermediate level of knowledge in computer and networks. If beginners find it difficult, just try to know more and come back. I will be providing subtitle for every video. Switch it on if it is not on by default. So here we are going to get into Cisco E20 IP video phone which is basically a collaboration device. It met its end of sale in 2012 and will get support from Cisco till 2016. Firstly, I am going to scan the IP. Here I am using ZenMap which is GUI of NMAP. I am performing a quick scan just to show you open ports. Consider for now we don't know which device we are looking into. Only thing we know is the IP. So uh, it will take some time for the scan. Um, after scan we can see that SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, H323 and SIP is open and TCP log is filtered. Open ports of SIP and H323 can give us an idea that it may be an IP phone. If you want to know more about H323 and SIP, go to the link below in the details about video. So now since HTTP is open, let us try to log in using web browser. So now I will close the send map and open a web browser and trying to log into the device so it shows there itself that the device is Cisco E20 so some work is done we know that the device is Cisco E20 now go take another tab and check for default password of Cisco E20 devices we can check if the default password is used anyway so we are checking for the default password here I am going for the um, Cisco's um, page PDF file provided by Cisco for the device the instruction manual I could say that um, so it shows that uh, the for logging to SSH username is admin and some other commands that can be used while logging into the SSH so um, we will have to brute force into the device since password is not given by default but I probably think the name will be a uh, username will be admin itself so just go through the document for more details so I actually brute forced it and the password was an easy one so now we are inside the device web page there you can see certificate upload certificate xml file some configurations some tabs like that logs are there so but we are not interested in this right now uh, we will try ssh into the device so i'm going to ssh into the device first you had seen that all the ip is uh, what blurred I did it for secure some security reason as the device is currently being used in same IP itself. So we are as the searching into the device with the username admin. Password for the same, I gave the same password I used for the web browser. So it was same. That how much less uh, I give a question mark to know more um, commands inside it so I just want to go as a root user instead of this admin so root settings on and I'm giving a password hack to log in as a root user so I logged out of the admin user as admin user and now I am going to log in as root user taking some time and giving the password hacked the you can see that actually we are inside a Linux system uh, this is on this system and the other software was built upon the phone software was built upon the base is a Linux system 
so you know what all you can do some guys now may be thrilled to know what all things they can do I'm not much of Linux guy even though I know some things was can be done but I am definitely sure other some guys were be what happy like anything oh that's cool that's enough now I will just make sure that it is every commands work inside it or most all commands works inside it I'm just I just did run an IP conf command only sorry I have config IP config is for Windows so I'm seeing some details there now let us check what other things are there ls um, nothing ok we can go to the root itself but it's root itself so let us see what is inside root yes, there is a folder named one inside the root let us go inside and check what is inside it normally it shouldn't be there less that and IO man resource oh it is a residue of some tools that was being used inside this mm, I'll show you what that tool is mm, got to take the web browser and go to that's github page that is a zip vicious a tool named zip vicious these tools was yours it's what you found inside the IP phone is actually a good tool mm. um, what it's a security tools a security suit exactly consists of various tools um, just go to wiki page and you can know the more information about it it's a handy tool still being used just go through it go through the tool let's see what all things can be done with that I'm not going to explain it in detail if you are interested in it, just go or else I will make another video doing things with this tool now mm, oh, there is one more thing I have to show you um, then uh, I'll show it okay, wait. yeah that is one thing that requirements for the tools are what are the requirements for the tool then uh, the tool um, the tools inside the suit mm, then it will work on almost all operating system I think let me have to see which one operating system let us see that now mm. yeah it works on almost all operating systems now there is one more thing that said this is the video which I wish to show you this is a Cisco hacking Cisco phone video by Ang Su and Michael Costello uh, I suggest you to watch this it is it is an interesting video it start from 13th minute I guess uh, till then it's nothing is there so go through this tool go through that video know that your endpoint device which is an IP phone if not properly um, here I'm showing you how to get the telnet password using Wireshark I'm opening the Wireshark here uh, I'm using WLAN 0 as the interface and I'm going to start the capture process so now I have to open my terminal and telnet into the router which is in 192.168.1.1 IP having that IP so I'm telling into that so it's giving the password now and yeah I got into the term router so I sit in the router and let us sh I will show you how to get the password now get the telnet frames show that for the TCP stream so there is the password it's that simple so it works same for SCTP also so here I am showing you how to hack into Cisco router using Hydra
here I am using Xhydra which is graphical version another tool I am using is Zenmap graphical user interface of Nmap this is Zenmap in target option give IP or network address of Cisco router for me network is 192.168.120.24 I am giving intent scan as it is my home network in the command area you can see the respective command of nmap which will be used if you are using terminal instead of this graphical interface it will take some time to complete the scan if you know the IP address of router give it instead of network as it can save time we can see that the scan is over uh, these are the hosts which are up in the network um, this is the Cisco router that is 192.168.1.23 23 exactly yeah these are the ports which are operating that router uh, this is my uh, machine and this is the Wi-Fi router which I am using for this network so let us look into the ports available in the Cisco router are 22, 23, 80 and 443 23 and 80 use plain text and so we can hack it using Wireshark or any other tools so here we are opting 22 um, for this hack which is SSH then um, in the this is Xhydra here give the router IP address then in the port number give 22 and protocol as SSH so um, there are other options how to put options be verbose click be verbose and show attempts so we can see the attempts hydra this is a com uh, you can see that below there is a command written this is the command to be used if you are using the um, the hydra instead of xhydra xhydra is the graphical interface so next uh, tab password the add a username list which i had created a name username list already a uh, password list also i had created a password list uh, so add that then uh, nothing else in this option now go to the tuning to the tuning uh, nothing else no yeah nothing else in this option go to the tuning and the number of task is five as four five lines a total five lines are there then nothing else here uh, if you want to see the command here just enlarge it and you can see the command which is supposed to be used in hydra so uh, next go for specific option uh, nothing specific if you have to give I believe no nothing specific then go to start and start the scan it will take time depending upon the efficiency of password and username list so you can um, generate password list using uh, the cup software I had a video of I made a video of that earlier so it's taking some time uh, so I am fast forwarding um, in the video and um, it took a lot of time for me to complete the scan so finally I got the username and password username was Adul and password was Cisco so we are going into the router now so SSH hyphen L Adul then username then this IP address so give the password as Cisco yeah we are inside the router now there is a MOTD message there there is unhacked is the use uh, the host name change it to hacked I'm changing it to hacked then can change some MOTD message for fun then now I am changing the MOTD message should I do sorry you are hack no then what else uh, I may oh, mate I am mate I made myself authorized okay and okay I made that the message then um then what else should we do then show um, 
function then show run uh, or do show run is needed here do show run okay this is the configuration we saw the configurations in the router then then what else uh, privilege level we can see the privilege level we are into do show privilege why it's not working do show spelling mistake <laughs> sorry guys okay current privilege is privilege level 15 so it's done we hacked into the router with which was using SSH to remote access it so uh, if you <coughs> want to hack uh, using a uh, telnet you can download etc from thchydra.org here I am showing you how to recover TP-Link router password without resetting it. Let us think we want to change Wi-Fi password of the router. For that we should know router IP. To know router IP type router-n. It will give you gateway IP. Here and in most cases router's IP. Type that IP on any browser and try to open the router homepage. We need password. So since we don't want to lose internet settings store in the router we should recover password without resetting router which is pretty easy uh, first after IP address type ROM-0 and a uh, file will be downloaded so then download another file ROM decoder.c as it is shown in the video now compile the downloaded C file and execute it with um, ROM-0 file and uh, we already that we already downloaded so oh, we get the password okay now let us try if it is working and we can see these now do whatever you want settings you want to change inside the router and enjoy thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos mm -hmm.